<laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> Didn't see you there. I was just reading up an article on whether I'm more of a cat person or a dog person. I think I'm more of a dog person, but I also love cats. Speaking of cats, I know of a cat who's really, really hungry. And she's looking up, waiting to find something to eat. And she sees a bird flying high, and the bird sees the cat too, and the bird is scared. Ooh, is this cat gonna eat me? So, um, one thing, um, they're obviously looking at each other at an angle, right? So, how do we measure that angle, or what do we even call those angles? So, um, we always measure these angles that I'm going to talk about from the line of sight. And the line of sight is always a horizontal line, as you can see on the screen. So, the cat has a horizontal line of sight, which is this one. I mean, I've just drawn a random red line on it. And the bird has a horizontal line of sight, which is this. Now, the angles that I'm going to talk about are always, always, always measured from the line of sight, which is always a horizontal line. Now, the cat looks at the bird and is really happy, elevated, because the cat, cat is thinking, mmm, yummy dinner. And the bird is really frightened, scared, and depressed, oh, I'm going to die today. So, the angle that the, that, that is, uh, I mean, the, the, the cat's angle is called the angle of elevation, and the bird's angle is called the angle of depression. More often than not, kids confuse the two, which is why I've just made up this entire story, so you do remember, the cat was here and the bird was here. The cat is elevated, happy to look at the bird. And the bird is depressed, looking at the cat. Ooh, I'm going to die. So, now one thing to note here is that these are horizontal lines of sight. They're always going to be parallel, which is why um, this is making a Z, as you can see, over a Z with parallel lines. Um, and a Z tells me that um, they are alternate angles, which means that this angle of depression is going to be equal to the angle of elevation. This would always be the case. Um, when two were talking about two objects and they're both looking at each other, one is at the top and one, one is at the bottom. The one um, looking at something at the top is the elevation. For example, um, if I'm standing in front of a building, if this is a building and I'm standing over here, this is my line of sight and this is, let's say, my friend and this is his line of sight. So the angle that um, I make while looking up is going to be the angle of elevation and the angle that my friend makes is going to be the angle of depression. Please note that this would be the angle of depression, not this. Not this angle of depression and angle of elevation are always measured from the horizontal line of sight and they will always be equal. So when two people are looking at each other from, at like different heights, um, the one looking up is angle of elevation, the one looking down is angle of depression, both measured from the line of sight, which is horizontal line. All right, let's say that, um, one more example before I end this video, I have a tower over here, there's a plane, there's a boat. So this is my line of sight, if I'm standing here, my eye is here, this, 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 this dot, so this horizontal line is, the, is my um, line of sight. The angle that I make with it looking up the plane is my angle of elevation. And this angle that I make here with the boat looking down is the angle of depression. So I hope this diagram summarizes it really well. That's it from my side of this video. In the next video, we'll be looking at some questions specifically from the past papers um, relating to some questions, simple trigonometry and a question or two on angle of elevation and depression. So see you guys there.